Hey everybody, my name is Allison. I run a company and YouTube channel called New Little Life. I'm an IBCLC and a mom of three little boys. And today I'm taking over Sarah's channel for just a minute. I want to share with you my experience of sleep teaching my baby. So as an IBCLC, which is a internationally board certified lactation counselor, breastfeeding is super important to me and I want to help other moms meet their goals, whatever that looks like for you. So sleep training always makes me a little bit nervous. I first met Sarah on my podcast where we had an awesome chat where she shared her personal breastfeeding experience. And then also I got to pick her brain about sleep and babies. It was so cool. The link's down below for you. After I talked with her, I realized that I needed help. I was in a bad place with my five month old. I was exhausted and this was not sustainable, but there were three things that I was a little bit concerned about. Number one, I was worried that my baby was too little to sleep train. And what I learned from Sarah is that we don't really sleep train babies. <laughs> so it's more of a teaching and a shaping their habits and how they sleep. And if you want more information and all the correct terminology, watch more videos <laughs> on Sarah's channel because I'm probably not saying it all right. But I was a little bit worried. We were co-sleeping at that point, not because I love co-sleeping or wanted to go against the Academy, American Academy of Pediatrics recommendations of co-sleeping, but because I needed sleep and I was desperate. I'm a mom of three and that was all I knew how to do was just let the baby eat all night while I slept. I was very comfortable with that and we practiced all the safe co-sleeping measures we could find, but I wasn't loving it and I just needed some direction. With my other two boys, we had kind of t taught them to sleep on their own when they were about eight or nine months, when I felt that they were old enough to go most of the night without needing breast milk. So I was like, well, I'm just making it to that point and then we'll deal with that. So I was surprised to learn that you can help teach your baby healthy sleep habits at a very young age. And actually Sarah just wrote a book there it is. And she put all the information that she taught me into her book. So that's awesome because this is super accessible to everybody. She also has tons of resources on her website. I took her sleep quiz actually after we did our podcast and and that's when I like really solidified that I needed help. <laughs> that link's down in the description for you too. And I ended up being really hopeful that my baby was actually not too young to help him develop better sleep habits and get out of my bed. Okay, the second hesitation I had with this whole process was breastfeeding is super important to me, like the number one thing. I would go without sleep, right? Really crappy sleep as long as I could preserve that breastfeeding relationship. Everybody has different goals there and your infant feeding might look different than mine, but that was just my personal goal and desire. I was not going to jeopardize that in any way, even if it meant I got less sleep. So I was a little bit worried that in doing this kind of sleep um, molding with my baby that I would hurt my breastfeeding relationship. And one of the coolest things that I learned from Sarah was how to separate breastfeeding and sleep. So my little guy, oh my goodness, he would fall asleep a lot at the breast, which I think is very common for babies. And that's how he would nap. He would usually nap in arms or I would have to like secretly carefully transfer him somewhere, but that almost never worked. <laughs> or he had to be in his bouncer moving. It just, it was exhausting. So what we did is we separated those two things. So I had the breastfeeding schedule over here where I had knew when I was going to feed him. And then I had his sleep schedule over here. And I say schedule, but this was just kind of for the training phase and they were not overlapping. So I would feed him and he would be awake. And then when it was time for sleep, we would do these specific things and I would help him to fall asleep while he was awake, you know? So I'd put him in his bed and we had a little routine. We got a couple of, we got a noisemaker, which was a recommendation from Sarah, which really helped for, for him and a couple other things to help him fall asleep on his own. And it was amazing how quickly he learned how to do that. We started with daytime sleep, which I thought was also really important. 
The worst time to start something new is in the middle of the night. (laughs) Things are just worse when it's dark. I don't know. But it was awesome. And I can tell you by day six of this, I was confident enough that he could do it that I actually left for the evening and I went to go teach a childbirth class at our local clinic for two hours and I fed him before I left and I told my husband what time he needed to nap when his next nap was scheduled and I left and I was so confident that my husband could put him down without the breast and that he would go to sleep and I could feed him when I got back. I remember driving back from that class and being like, This is incredible. The freedom, I had no idea that I was missing this, that I don't have to physically be there to feed my baby to sleep. And that to me was just so empowering and really gave me the push I needed to continue through motherhood. My little guy is about six and a half months now and things are still going really well there. Our breastfeeding relationship is strong. He's sleeping on his own, not in my bed, and it's incredible. I still do wake up to feed him once in the night. It's a little bit more frequent when we were kind of doing this teaching, but I would dream feed him and that was really cool Um, because he's still too little, in my opinion, to go through the whole night and that's okay with me, but he's not in my bed and that is awesome. (laughs) And then number three, my third hesitation with starting this process was it's hard and I don't know what to do. I was lucky enough to be able to work with Sarah. She held my hand through the whole thing. It was incredible. I had a question and she was there and I loved it so much. I was curious when she put her new book out, if she would put all the things that she helped me with and her high touch, like hand holding thing that I really needed, (laughs) that I loved. I was curious if she would put all of that in her book. And I really feel like she did. I have read this thing. It is full of just gold nuggets. It's laid out very easily to read. The information is very digestible. She has a lot of cool information in here. Like, look at this. This is an awake time chart. And this was something that really impacted me as well. I realized that we were keeping my baby awake too long and that he was overtired. And he was getting naps in the day, but they were not, (laughs) we had waited too long and then it was a disaster. And so I loved this awake time chart because it really helped me understand when he needed to be sleeping, just the normal physiology of a baby. So cool. There's information in here about pacifiers, swaddling, bedtime routines, and how to set that up common questions on like the attended method. So, you know, where you're helping your baby to sleep, but they're kind of on their own and you go in and you're sitting with them, attending them. Look at this question. Can I pick my baby up? Every parent is thinking that in the middle of the night. Can my partner help? How does that look? What do I do if my baby throws their lovey out of the bed? These are awesome questions. When do I stop doing checks with the interval method? Like, come on. This book is so cool. Occasionally too, she'll often walk you through the worst case scenario, which I always really appreciate. What's the worst thing that could really happen tonight while we do our sleep teaching? (laughs) Sometimes even just knowing that can help you be like, okay, that's not that bad. I can handle that. It's likely going to go much better. And (laughs) I thought that was really cool too. I love the encouragement and the practicality of Sarah's teaching and the methods, especially that are in her book. She's got a ton of resources on her website too. So I highly recommend that you check that out. If you want to know more about breastfeeding, you can find me over on my channel, New Little Life by Allison. There's also another video on this same topic where I talked a little bit more about my experience and what that actually looked like. So I will link you to that video as well if you want. Just wanted to say a huge thank you to Sarah for her hard work for this awesome book. I'm going to be sharing it with a lot of my breastfeeding clients because I really think that it has some practical and great advice and an approach to helping your baby learn how to sleep. It's an important skill. And that's our job as parents is to teach your baby how to be a human, how to live, how to make it through the world. You can start really early. I wish you the best of luck on your infant feeding journey and also your infant sleep teaching. Go watch this next video from Sarah. You won't regret it. 
We'll see you guys later.